Wat zullen we drinken? Zeven dagen lang. Wat zullen we drinken? Wat een dorst. What's up guys? I'm going to be changing the name of this show to uh, Spike's Booze Reviews because I'm also going to be doing liquor as well as beer. So it's no longer going to be called Beer Reviews. Just the Booze Reviews. So today, I have something really special that I've been wanting to review for a long time. And I finally got my hands on it today. What is it? Is it this? Nope. UV Sriracha. Finally got my hands on it. I've heard some things from other reviews that it's not very good. It's meant to be mixed, but as always, I have to try for myself to get my own opinion. So, let's do this brand new bottle. Uh, first, I'm going to be trying it straight. And then I'm going to be making a Sriracha Bloody Mary. Very simple, because I don't have a ton of ingredients, but uh, we're going to get it done. So uh, here's the first taste test. Brand new. Let's have a smell. Whew. It does smell like Sriracha with a little hint of rubbing alcohol. I mean, it is UV, it's not the best, but uh, it intrigues me. It's straight. All right. It's already gonna lose a point with me because I feel like it should have been red and it's just the bottle that's red. It's kind of disappointing. It's clear. I feel like it should have been red, but uh, let's give it a taste. Prost. Hmm. First, it just has that rubbing alcohol UV vodka taste that you've come to know if you've ever had it. But it finishes like the slight tingle and burn in the back of your throat is almost the same exact burn as when you're eating sriracha but on its own, just not as not as hot. <clears throat> but there is a lot of warmth in the back of my throat right now, so um, the flavor is there. It's just not very prominent but you do know it's there and it smells like sriracha so kudos for them to, for getting the flavor in there they did an alright job but the vodka itself is not very good but um loses a point for it not being red I feel like it should have been red but uh now let's make a drink alright time for part two let's make a sriracha bloody mary picked this up at the store because uh, I didn't want to buy a lot of individual ingredients so we're going to make a really simple one picked up a brand new product called the uh, V8 Bloody Mary found it at Walmart for about three bucks pretty affordable so I got my glass full of ice got celery salt around the rim pretty traditional we're going to add about four to five ounces of this and about two ounces of this. Let's see how it goes. I might even add some real sriracha in there. We'll see how it tastes. So, of course, the liquor goes first. Let's do two shots. Two shots. I'm gonna eyeball about four to five ounces of this stuff. Let's give it a taste.
That's really tasty, actually. Ooh, you can definitely taste the UV. And now, just for fun, that's a sriracha. Let's give it a mix. Cheers, people. Way better. Now you really get the sriracha taste. It'll really pick you up in the morning if you have one of these, and if you're hungover, you won't be hungover for very long. Time heals all, but this will heal you even faster. So, on its own, I'm gonna have to give this a 6.5 out of 10 because the vodka that was used to make this is not very good. It leaves a, not a very good taste in your mouth, but they did do a good job in capturing the sriracha flavor somewhat, so 6.5. As a drink, I'm gonna have to give it a 7.5. Uh, and even an eight with the addition of real sriracha. So uh, there you have it. Go pick it up, give it a try, try and find it in small bottles if you don't want to buy the big one. But uh, it's been your, uh, it's been another episode of Spike's Booze Reviews. Cheers.